Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna lay out our drop cloth. You know, make sure your drop cloth is good and dry. Um, as you can see, this floor is pretty, pretty messed up. So I doubt they're gonna keep it, but just for training purposes, we're gonna go ahead and use the drop cloth throughout this entire room, uh, just to be thorough, um, especially for beginners. Uh, anybody that's new, you don't really wanna be painting anywhere without a drop cloth. Um, the first thing you wanna do, always, is cut in. So you can see I got, you wanna cut in any room any door, any uh, pretty much anything in the paint world, when you're brushing and rolling, you're gonna want to cut in first. So the way we do this, as you can see, I got about a quarter of my bucket filled up with paint. I'm gonna get just the tip of my brush wet, um, wipe it on the sides. You can do the slap technique where you slap it on the sides. Uh, the main thing you want to make sure is you got a, a lot of paint in there. So. Uh, you want to use your your purdy name brand paintbrush. Uh, get a lot get a lot of paint on the brush. Uh, slap it. Do whatever you gotta do. Get a lot on there. And the technique, the idea, is to get your excess amount of paint up above whatever it is you're painting. So right now I'm cutting in this baseboard. I'm gonna get up in that corner too. So I'm gonna just uh, I'm gonna attack it like this, and I'm gonna actually slide my bristles out. So I'm going to attack the wall, slide the bristles out, and I'm watching the camera as I do this, so it's a little tricky, but uh, slide them out, and then you're going to make a straight line. And then you come back, you know, smooth it out, make your corners nice and, nice and bulky to help out your roll man. Um, the cut-in man is basically getting everything that the rolling man cannot get. So... Uh, same thing over here, put your excess a little bit outside wherever you're going, flex your bristles um, into that corner, make sure we're getting that corner nice and good. And anytime you do like I'm doing now and you get paint on something, if you gotta get into a corner or you gotta get paint on something, don't freak out. Um, on certain things like carpet, you're gonna wanna get it a lot quicker than I'm doing now. But basically you just wanna wipe as you go. So don't let that dry. Go ahead and wipe it, wipe it on your pants, wipe it on your drop cloth, just make sure you dry it off if you put it on your drop cloth uh, so you don't step it and track it later. But uh, yeah, basically you just wanna clean up after yourself as you go. Um, so same thing as we move on down the wall, you can see I got that little portion done. Same deal, I'm gonna get a lot of paint on here. Uh, put it above where I'm going and I'm gonna continue on like so. Um, make your make it nice and thick as you can see it's a couple inches off so my, my rolling man doing him a solid to where he doesn't have to go so far down and I'm gonna go ahead and get this side right here too while I'm over here same technique put your excess on the outside uh, you know get it as soon as your brush goes dry people as soon as your brush gets dry get more don't be shy don't be shy Stay, uh, stay wet with the paint. Get all the way up the side. Um, get everything. I got a little bit right there, so I'm gonna wipe that. Sometimes you gotta wipe it more than once. Keep wiping it. Um, up in here, just go back through. You're gonna be creating a line through there as you're doing this, but it doesn't matter because you're gonna smooth it back out. I'm just getting these little details. Details are everything, guys. So uh, smooth that out. Smooth that out. And as you can see, I uh, my uh, my camera's going a little blurry. Um, but as you can see, I have that cut in, and I also have that cut in. Um, see if I can get the focus back. Okay. So, uh, so yeah, I got that cut in, down, and I got about a few inches off that. Now I'm going to continue to go this way. Um, 